Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 12 of my Pig Farmer series. Um, it is July and a few things have happened. One, I kind of rearranged our fields. And what I mean by that is I sold this one and this one. I decided I didn't want to use the weird shapes and I bought these two down here. Um, so that's all good. We're harvesting barley right now. I've planted sorghum, sorghum, potatoes, and soy. And again, we're harvesting barley now. So that's where we're at right now. We still have money in the bank. Um, I also ended up buying, which I'll show you over here because we're going to go sell this in a second. Um, I ended up buying another cedar right over there since we have two tractors plus this truck can pull one. So I decided, you know, why not? So I did that. Um, and finally, I just want to mention a comment. This is from Justin Fibble, I believe, Fibble. Justin Fibble, 1789. I uh, made a comment about, well, running out of room inside of the... Uh, production facilities here he said well why don't you do more than one type of pig and that is a brilliant idea now it doesn't increase um i don't think it increases how fast they'll go maybe it does because i think i don't know if it'll actually run all these simultaneously i'm not sure that part i don't know i don't know if it's only going to do one at a time or divide these out but the way it's kind of written makes it look like it'll do them all at the same time but regardless yeah that's a good way to make this instead of be only a fifty thousand kilogram capacity uh, production to be 150,000 between all of them. Um, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to worry about adding more pigs right now. But when we end up doing our main farm and we do our pigs on our uh, the kind of final place that we're going to do pigs, um, we will end up doing that. We're going to do that to kind of change things up. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, no! Darn it! Come on! There we go. Up it goes. All right. Let's sell these 55,000 liters, which should be a good price, um, I'm assuming. Go down here. Uh, ooh. Ooh. It's a terrible price. Uh, yeah, we're actually not going to sell them. I'm going to park them right here, and we're not going to sell them right now because that's a terrible price. And 2000 oh, yeah, just $2,000 per 1,000 liter difference. That is a big deal. So, yeah, we're going to hold off on doing any of this right now. We're going to wait until, I mean, right now it's July, so August, hopefully it just shoots up um into there so we can sell this next month which is great um and then next month we will will we harvest potatoes we will harvest potatoes next month so we'll be doing potato harvest and sell these off um and sorghum will be ready as well actually yeah because we planted sorghum in april so we'll have plenty of stuff to do next month but for now we just have our barley harvest so yeah but things are going well um i would like to start working on this this episode 175 000, um we're, we're so far we're growing plenty of things i think so i mean more fields would be great um i'd like to buy some more equipment i think our this harvester is great and obviously our potato harvester now is pretty good especially being able to just go up and down that i think that'll be pretty easy for harvest it'd be nice to have a much more powerful tractor or maybe a truck to pull our trailers because that's kind of an issue and then the main thing i really want to buy if i go into here i'll show you um i really want to buy this guy so we have this, 3 meters, 7 miles an hour. This is 6 meters, 7 miles an hour. So it'll double the speed at which we can plant potatoes, and it holds over double the, the yeah, it holds over double the potatoes in it, too. This only holds 2,600. This will hold 8,000, which is almost, actually, it is about three times as many. So uh, that'll be great. It doesn't require that much more horsepower, either, 170, 150. And I think that the reason for that is this is, uh, it's got a hitch, and it just kind of pulls it along, versus this one is actually lifted up and down on the back of the tractor. But um yeah so that's pretty good right there i think that would be a great uh a great improvement for our potato operations and i think this will be just the field we do potatoes on every year um I mean, again it'd be nice to buy some more fields but i think the main thing is to start moving our pigs over here i want to get our uh, production set up to do liquid fertilizer and things like that so uh, we'll kind of go from there Fifty-five thousand here i must if we get let's say we get uh nine thousand per thousand liters which is a little bit higher than we'll probably get um, this is almost $500,000 worth of stuff right here. So that'll be enough to get quite a few things going. Um, eventually, yeah, so I think, I mean, there's no, there hasn't been like any good tractors on sale. So like if we look at large tractors, any modded ones at the end here that are cheaper? No, what about medium tractors? All right. Oh, they're all, they're going to be in order. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. 179 we own one of those 170 it's not super powerful um where's the other one we own i think it's in here isn't it is 
it in here? It's one of the internationals. Yeah, it's one of these guys. Is it this one? Nope. This one. There we go. Up to 145 there. Yeah, that goes 145. I think most of these are going to be 145 range or 300. Holy vajiminis. 300 horsepower. What is that? Oh, ultra power. Yeah, we're not paying 100 grand extra for that on that specific tractor. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to find what we're looking for in the small tractor zone. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we are. Yeah, we're not getting super high. So, I think medium tractors is where we're going to go. And this one, I always use this one at some point, pretty much in every series. And it's not, it's just a really good tractor. 260 horsepower. It's going to be more than that. So, with the 260, it's 142 for 260 horsepower. But like the next closest, well, I guess these guys aren't bad either. 228. No, still not as good though. Yeah, 260. I mean, eventually we'll buy like really nice new tractors and all that sort of stuff. But 270 for 179, that's actually not too far off. 295. We also could go with the Fent. The Fent is a really nice tractor. Uh, how much is a Fent? It's 329,000. I mean, that is just, it's just a beast, but I don't think we need it. I think we go with the case for now. Um, yeah, I think we just do that for now. Um, let's get this guy unloaded over here. Because like this guy, these guys just really struggle to pull the weight of these trailers, which makes sense. They're heavy trailers, especially when they're full of stuff. So I think having, you know, the extra 100 horsepower on top of this would make it a lot easier to pull these around and do stuff with them. So um, that would be kind of my my idea, I think, is what we'll do. So hopefully this episode we can buy some new equipment. That would be great. And buy the land that we're looking for moving to. And then what I'll probably end up doing just off camera. I know there's a bunch of trees on here. Other than some of the ones on the very edge. I'm just going to go around and delete them using the F12 uh, tools. I'll be able to just delete objects. I'll just walk around and delete them. And I'll only do that because we can't make money off them anyways. It's against the rules of our series. And I just want to kind of uh, get them out of the way. Without having to deal with them too bad. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. So... I'll keep uh, getting stuff done. I'll get the harvest done here. We'll get some stuff turned over. I'll probably bring you guys in next month when we sell off the, uh, the meat. So I'll see you guys next month. All right. It is August. Um, we are not going to sell the pigs off right now because now apparently January is the best time and the prices aren't super great right now. So I want to get closer to 9,000. I mean, that's just a lot of money. So we're going to hope for something better. Um, we do have some pigs that just hit 18 months though. So we're gonna we're gonna not sell those, I guess. We're gonna put them into our factory because we know that's the best time. Could be these guys. Yep. Let's go all the way up there. I think it's 38. Yep. Let's move the trailer. Okay. I don't know how many there are. Hoping they can put them all in one load. There we go. 925. Oh, there's just four left. Okay. Okay, and that should be all the ones we want to sell off. Let's go ahead and check here. Those guys are going to produce tomorrow, so we'll probably hold on to those babies until these guys are ready to go again. We're just going to hold these guys up until they get all the way up there. Um, no one else can reproduce, so we'll get these carried over there. Um, in the meantime, off camera, I'm going to work on our potato harvest because that should be should be ready to go, and our soy harvest, that is. Yeah, potatoes or sorghum. Sorry, sorghum's ready, sorghum's ready, and potatoes are ready. So I will get those things off. Let's go put these guys away real quick. And actually, I need to check and see uh, who has 11,000 there, 8,000 there. So let's tag that one. That's the second one. So we'll put, uh, what do we have? 38, 30, we have 42. So we'll put, that one needs more. We have 42. Let me go ahead and put... Uh, oh, I, let's put those four in there. Sure. Those are from the trailer. Um, there we go. I don't want to put all 38 in here. Let's put... Uh, we put four in here. This one has the most, so let's put uh, 20 in here. And then we have 22 left for the other one. And that should balance it out fairly decently. This one will still have a little less. Get those in there. Oh, maybe back up a little bit. Boom. Okay, 
Perfect. There's that. And I'll do that harvesting off camera. Bring you guys back in. Hoping it's time to sell some pork. Hopefully not in January, though. I hope sooner than that, but we'll see. Oh, and before I forget, I almost forgot. Sorry for the abrupt cut there. Um, in the store, I want to buy this. It's only 36000 We need a little bit more money, so we're going to borrow a little bit um, because I want to do a couple of things with it. This thing will hold, like, the rigid back stuff, so we can put something cool on it. I want to do... We'll do the regular engine. It's plenty of horsepower, but I want... It looks cool. I want that vintage looking setup there. Um, we'll leave that like that. And I think everything else is good. Uh, maybe the cabin roof, maybe like a red. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Okay, that's perfect. We're going to buy that. Because we can put stuff in it, we might actually buy, just while you guys are here, uh, how much money do we have? We, we have plenty to buy what I want to buy. Let's go to mods and I want to go to TLX. Um, if I can find it in here. <laughs> Where are we at? Galax, here we go. Phoenix. It should. Because this is the one. We own one of these. Um, it should take the rigid backs from this. So I would like to get like the dumper here. Um, I think that would be pretty good for moving pig food around. So I think that's what I want to go with. We have one of those for uh, moving slurry. But I think I want to get one of these. Uh, Unreal capacity, 820. I wish there was like an in-between. 21,000, I want to do more than that. So we'll do the Unreal, but I wish it had uh, like an in-between. Oh, that's 14,000. All right, well, eventually that we'll buy with that, but uh, we'll hold off for now because we don't really need it right now or I'll take out a loan and buy it later. But anyhow, that's what I got. We'll see you guys. Hopefully it's time to sell the port. All right, it is early morning. I'm going to make sure the audio is actually up a little bit for you guys to hear things. It is early morning. Um, Yes. We have a good price, February early on. But before we get into selling all 110,000 liters, now that I've overloaded the crap out of this truck, um, I forgot to mention all of our yields. So for barley last year, we got 97,000 liters. For sorghum, we got 68,000. For potatoes, we got a whopping 411,000. And for soy, we got 53,000 liters. So having said that, if we take a look at our stocks. First off, pigs are doing great. These guys reproduced a second time. Um, to give birth to these guys. These guys will get older. We will put them into the butcher. As soon as these guys get to 18 months, which will be soon, we will be set for pigs for a while. The good news is that 200 pigs times the 300 kilograms that they will be in terms of weight for the butcher, that's only 60,000 kilograms, and our total capacity is 100,000. So we should still be able to fit all this in there depending on what's happening with all these guys. These guys are a little ways away, so they'll be right behind those guys by, by three months. But these guys are, yeah, we're, we're still good for a while. So we're doing good. Um, stocks of stuff. You can see that's a good price. We're going to tag that while I'm in here. Um, 8,700 would be perfect. 353,000 liters of potatoes in the silo. And we have 185,000 liters of pig food, nothing else. And if we go down to our productions, um, these guys are keeping up really well. 5,300 kilograms, a little bit there. Uh, I just empty those guys out, so that makes sense. And then 5,200 kilograms there. So they're about, they're about on par. If we go down to this here. In storage, we have um, a little bit of soy. Well, we have quite a bit of soy, actually. That's enough to make 392,000 liters of pig food. Um, down here, we have some sorghum. We have plenty of potatoes. The thing we're out of is barley. So one thing, which we don't have to worry about right now, I would like to, after we sell off... Well, let's just see Let's just see how much money we have up for this. Let's go sell this off. I want to buy some land and some stuff in here um, and get some other stuff rolling. But first, we need to sell this off. By the way, this guy right here has been an absolute game changer. That thing's been so easy to move stuff around. That having a bigger tractor is not even as important. I still want to get one, and we're still going to buy one, but it's not as important now. I have to be very careful on turns, because at a low speed, this thing is just ready to tip. Is that where we want to go with it? That's the container? Is it? Wasn't it the plane? No, it's going to... Okay, yeah, I'm losing my mind. Uh, we can untag that since we're here. Okay. Big money. Big, 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 big money. Still going. <laughs> yep, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing just fine after this. All right, good. It's getting them all. This is insane. 
We did have a lot though. That was like over a year's production. 961,000? <laughs> and that's crazy because even if we had done pigs just by themselves selling them off to the animal dealer and not doing the meat, we'd have gotten over $500,000 for those pigs. That is insane. So if you're like, oh, that's cheating or whatever. No, we have done the work. We have done the work. We have built up from nothing. Uh, first things first, let's pay off this $35,000 I owe to the bank. Easy peasy. Um, okay. I don't think I've reset anything. So I think the store should be here. Yeah, I don't think I've reset anything. Okay. So let's look at land. I want to start operation build over here. So we're going to buy that. I'm going to start moving over there soon. Now we need another field for barley for sure. I hate this field actually. It's very too close to the edge. So I think it's not going to work great. They got wheat in it. I need more wheat now. That's the one thing we can check. Is there any? That's a barley field right there right now. That. Which, by the way, how is our barley? We need to fertilize them. Poor barley. Uh, this barley is over here doing great. Does it need plowing? Not really. Let's go take a look at that field. Um, I'm going to do. Well, let's get. Do we need anything in here? There's nothing in here we want to buy. Let's fast forward time so we get just a little bit a little bit brighter outside. Okay, perfect. That'll work for us. Uh, let's drive this back to the farm and then we'll go in flight mode. So I want to kind of go look at that field and survey it a little bit. But that'd be great because then we have barley for this year, which we are behind on barley. That's the one thing we're behind on. Now we have plenty of pig food. We're not going to run out of food to feed our pigs. Don't get me wrong. But I want to really kind of maintain that production and try to keep those numbers pretty level. Eventually, all the stuff we have over here is going to get destroyed and moved, which is A-OK -okay with me. Uh, we could keep our butcher over No, I want it to be right next to our pig, so it's easier. Uh, okay, let's hop into flight mode. We can survey some things. So, first off, this is our new farm area right here. It's very large. It should be plenty big for anything we need to do. Um, it's way bigger than the current space we're operating on. And it, yeah, it's gonna be great. We'll clear a lot of these trees. I'm gonna leave the edge trees brown because I think they look good, but we'll clear all these kind of central trees and these trees in the middle. And I think um, we'll kind of have it set up. So we'll have like right over here actually might be where we put the pigs, just a row of pig. Maybe we do like six eventually. And then back over here, some butchers. And then over here, this can be our storage for machinery and for our, uh, words are hard. And then uh, also for our, uh, like productions for making pig food and stuff. Uh, but okay, this is the field that we're looking at here. So there's a couple of trees over here that might cause us some issues with workers, but guess what? That's easy peasy because I'm going to cheat a little bit here. <laughs> um, just uh, slow us down here a little bit. So actually, where does the field start? Are we on the field? No, we can't be on the field. Here's the field. Okay, so this is the field. Honestly, this might be the only one that gets in the way. If we just delete that tree, I don't think these trees are going to be in the way. So that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and buy that. How much is that? 64000 That's pretty cheap, and that should almost double our barley. Because these guys... Yeah, it should maybe not quite double it, but it'll, it'll be helpful for a lot of reasons. And that's not too far away from our farm or our, our new farm. It's a little ways right now for us to drive, but not a big deal. Um, eventually we'll get kind of fields all over the map. I want to upgrade and buy some more, but there we go. We got that. Um, so I'm not going to buy anything yet because we might get it on sale, but this year we are going to buy ourselves one of, I already pass it. No, it's not under small trackers, is it? Can't possibly be. Not that one. Where is it? It's not a large tractor. No. I must have just gone past it. Let me slow it. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. We'll buy one of these guys because 260. This guy's a little cheating. I love this tractor. <laughs> a subscriber made for me, but this is a little cheaty, and I, I really like this tractor. I do love this, though. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, obviously, I loaded in almost every game save. But yeah, we'll get one of those. That'll be like 150000 with the bigger engine. Yeah, 142000 so we'll get that, and then we're also going to buy a new potato planter. Um, those are kind of the plans for right now. Um, we may buy a better cedar this year. We'll kind of see. Um, but the problem with that is we don't really have any tractors with 
horsepower. I can just tab back over to the farm with horsepower enough to make it there. So that's kind of the trick. We are getting a lot of slurry as well. This thing's about to be full. Um, I think we just emptied it recently. Yeah, those aren't very full. We almost emptied them uh, this morning. But uh, yeah, so we'll keep going. I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. I know it seems like I'll, it seems like I'm skipping a lot, and I apologize for that, but it's just kind of the way that it goes sometimes with this sort of stuff. So um, we don't have to do anything until we plant anything the first month. Potatoes. Yeah, we plant potatoes in March. We could plant potatoes later. We actually might do that. I might plant everything in April because we can plant potatoes in April. So we might do that, plant potatoes, soy, and then uh, the sorghum. And then obviously barley, we're not going to be harvesting until I think July because I think we planted. No, maybe we planted it here. I can't remember, but we'll be harvesting barley then. Uh, so I'll probably bring you guys in after planting is done. And then we'll kind of assess things unless I'm going to buy some equipment. Well, actually, I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to when April hits because we might have some stuff on sale in between now and then. And I might we'll buy some equipment with you guys in April to kind of close it out. So I'll see you guys in April. All right. April time. And I'm so excited. It's time to go on a shopping spree. So first things first, we're buying that tractor. Bigger engine 261. Bye. Boom. All right, second thing, potato planter. This guy, 130. Boom, and I actually think we'll hold on to the other one because we might as well run two if we have them both, you know? Might as well, because uh, we're not gonna get a ton for it. Probably get like, I mean, how much does it say it's worth even in here? Yeah, 18. We're gonna get nothing for that. We're gonna get maybe double that, maybe three grand. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we might as well keep it and run both. So I guess that's better than nothing. Um, it'll speed the potato planting up a little bit. Um, okay. Now, I have in this tractor, I think this guy, 170, I think he can pull... I think he should be able to handle this. Now, I know those are dead on. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So having said that, the reason I say that is because eventually I want to get a bigger seeder. I thought about, well, maybe we have, we could do that now because we, we could, you know, whatever the case would be. And I looked through everything we have installed. And this is the one I want to get a few of eventually, but to start, at least one. Um, this guy will do fertilizer. It is a direct drill as well. Those are the two kind of things I want. It told me to working with at nine miles an hour is plenty big for our farm. Um, and this folds all up nice and neat. I thought about going with like one of these, but they're very expensive. And yes, they're, they're huge, but I, I'd rather run a couple of these instead. I think this is just a better option. So... 300 horsepower is not 261, so our case probably won't pull it. Maybe will. We're going to try it. Um, is that like an extended tank? Yeah, we'll do the bigger tank, of course. Um, Let's do the cheaper one there. Wider tires now. Narrows are fine. All right. This is crazy, but the worst case scenario. So here's my logic here. The worst case scenario, we're going to eventually buy this. The worst case scenario is we buy it now and can't use it until we can afford a bigger tractor. That's literally the worst case scenario. So we're going to buy it. And I think the case can handle it. And we're going to test that before we end the episode. I love that the potato planter is basically the same size as that cedar. That potato planter is huge. But look how big this case is compared to this planter. It's got it. Come on. This thing's just such a work. Oh, well. Whoops. This thing's just such a workhorse. Sorry, I had to see that. Um, I think this is going to be able to do it. No problem. I think it's going to be fine. We'll see, but I think it's going to be fine. Um, yeah. What are we going to plant first? We'll probably get uh, sorghum. I didn't let me open the cover when I did that. Uh, um, might have to... I can't remember what this one. I haven't used this in a while. I haven't used it since probably it came out in the horse pack. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to unfold it. Let me get a little closer to make sure. Oh, no. We're good. Oh, perfect. Look at that. All right. So, um, sorghum. Sorghum. This guy's plowing, by the way, down there. He's been working on that for a while. Uh, I fertilized one round. Also, I fertilized our 
uh, what we call it, our barley up here. So, uh, yeah, we're right here. We'll just drive up to field nine and see how that goes. And then we just have to fertilize it again next month. No big deal. Really just want to go through that ditch, and I probably will. So just prepare yourself for that. I think this guy, this this tractor is honestly just an absolute beast, and so I would be shocked if it can't run this thing. I'd be shocked. Shocked to my core. My very essence would be just concerned for the sanctity of humanity if this cannot pull this across this field. It's just not that big. It's not that big for this case. Just can't have issues. All right. Let's get lined up here. We'll also running nine miles an hour. All right. It's pulling it. All right. It's a little slow. Given seven miles an hour, it's not as fast as we should be going. Higher worker, but at the same time, seven miles an hour is pretty good because we are at a 40 horsepower deficit for what the minimum horsepower requirement is for this cedar. So, I will admit, I was I'm a little disappointed that it's not going as fast as it could, but it is working, so we'll take it. And that's that. The field boss, that's our next test now. Let's try him out and then we'll wrap up the episode. He theoretically. Should be able to pull this, no problem. Now, is he down here? Are you turning around? Yeah, I don't know why they insist on missing. I also should buy a bigger plow, honestly. Bigger plow would be nice too. We can get this guy in the uh, nine meter configuration. Not a bad idea. Anyhow, it's in our upgrade for another day, our episode. Let's go up to the top. I just want to make sure that we have space to be able to start planting. You can see I fertilized like halfway through because I forgot, but it'll be fine. I'll be able to plant over it. Then after the potatoes are planted, I should be able to immediately throw down the second layer of fertilizer. So it should be no big deal. No biggie. All right, let's get up here. Let's clean up some of this garbage and then we'll get him to start working again. And this guy has less horsepower, right? Yeah, 145. Somehow this guy, I feel like at times, seems like it's more powerful than the field boss, I'll be honest. It might be because it's four-wheel drive and the field boss is uh, just rear wheel. So that could be that could be part of it. But anyhow, I'm no tractor expert, but that would make sense why this has a little bit more pulling capabilities. Seems like it's using more of the horsepower. Or using the horsepower more efficiently, maybe? I don't know. It's doing something, and I like what it's doing. This has been a really, really good tractor for us. This thing also has a better weight in the front, and especially those tires in the front. It actually holds the uh, fertilizer spreader better than the fuel boss. That part is actually true. Uh, okay. Let's get this hooked up. We'll go get loaded up with some potatoes and head out there. I know this episode will be a touch longer than maybe normal, but you guys have never complained about that, I don't think. so. Usually you guys complain that I don't go long enough. So, should be fine. Uh, okay. So far, no problems pulling it. Not working. That's not really the real challenge, so uh, we'll see here when we get back over to the farm. Yep. Not going to roll in at full speed is no big deal. But yeah, holding 8,000 liters is, uh, yeah. It's no big deal. I had thought in the past, too, and I checked. It just doesn't. I thought this thing held liquid fertilizer. I, I could have swore. Let me know in the comments. Did it do that in a previous game? Am I thinking of a mod? I thought it looked like this. It was the exact same planter, but... I thought it did liquid fertilizer at the same time. I swore that was something that was that existed. I swore, but I could be just completely, completely off base there. Now the other case, the one that's currently plowing, can use the other potato planter when it's done working on what it's working on. There we go. Eight thousand liters. Beautiful. Okay, and this will take. So much longer to, even with it being double the working width, it'll take over, it'll take it like 50% longer to unload, or to be empty, not to unload, to uh, become empty. You can't unload this either, can you? Yeah, you can't unload the seeds anyway. So I'd want to, at a minimum, I want to plant with the other planter until those 2,600 liters of potatoes in it are, are done. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. This is the true task. Now, I can't remember what this thing runs at. Right, there's a car right there. Is gonna well, yeah, we could probably unfold before I start that process. I can 
pull off to the side here and get out of that car's way. So we can come back over for our field. Oh, okay, slow down. Maybe not. Oh, it's so much nicer. Such a big planter. Okay. Tire you. Drop it down. That's not a good sign. Okay, there we go. He's speeding up. Six miles an hour, seven. I think I'm pretty sure this one works at seven. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, yeah, seven miles an hour. Okay, perfect. It just took him a little, just a, a hot second to get up and going, but once he gets rolling, he's rolling. You can see why this would take a while at the same speed, but half the working width. You can see why it took forever to do this field and I had to reload it 5,673 times. Not really, but it took a while. Uh, but anyhow, our blanders are working out. Everything's good. We're doing great. That's where we're going to wrap up this episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. See you guys in the next one.